Hope is a thief that robs from the present and a liar that deludes you with the promise of a better future. Sounds extreme, I know, but let me explain. Hope serves only to remove you from the present moment. It's a grass is always greener type of situation. I got to experience this firsthand a few months ago as my girlfriend and I walked barefoot through a field of grass. The patch of grass we were walking across was dry, yellow, and slightly unpleasant to walk across. Meanwhile, the patch of grass about 100 yards ahead of us looked to be lush, green, and soft. Almost automatically, we started joking about how nice it would be once we got to that greener patch. But then I said, enjoy what you have now, because even though it might look like nicer up ahead, I bet once we get there, it'll actually be worse and we'll wish we could be back here. I said this as a joke, but ironically, it turned out to be true. Once we got to the greener patch, we realized that the blades were somehow sharper than the grass we had just been walking across. Not only this, but there also seemed to be rocks underneath the grass. I wish I had filmed it so that you guys could see what I mean and know that I'm not just making this up, but the point is that we very literally got to experience that even though the grass might be greener up ahead, it doesn't necessarily mean that it'll be nicer than the grass you're walking through at the moment. This experience is what gave me the idea for this video. Because even though our intentions were good, we were just trying to make ourselves feel better about our discomfort by telling ourselves that our circumstances would soon change and our discomfort would end. What we were really doing was using hope as a way to lie to ourselves and to resist our current reality, rather than surrendering to and accepting what was. This is when I understood that hope is just a clever way to cover up your dissatisfaction and to deny what is which, according to Eckhart Tolle, is a form of madness. And that is a dysfunctional way to live because you are never fully alive. You, are, you never feel at home. You're always looking for your home in some future moment. The thing is, hope locks your focus onto the future. It teases you forward with the promise of a better tomorrow. But the irony is that by focusing so much on the positivity you imagine yourself receiving and enjoying in the future, you become incapable of acknowledging and enjoying the good in the present. That's the gift and the curse of living in a world where we see things through the veil of duality. Every experience always contains within it both good and bad. I think this is part of the reason why people say that you don't know what you have until you lose it. We're too busy looking ahead with starry eyes to appreciate the real, positive things currently in our lives. We look forward to the freedom we'll feel when we're finally able to drive, but forget to appreciate the sense of safety and love that comes with living with and being taken care of by our parents. We anxiously anticipate the pay raise we'll get when we're promoted, but forget to acknowledge the flexibility and freedom we get to enjoy in our current position. We look forward to going on that vacation, but overlook what a luxury it is to have everything just the way we want it and all the small, simple comforts that make our home, home. The problem with hope is that it always paints the imagined future as way too good, perfect even such that your dissatisfaction will never subside because the reality will never live up to the unrealistic expectations that hope set you up for. In this way, it will lead you to continually create more perfect imagined futures, which you will strive to reach, but which will just lead to more dissatisfaction and more hopeful thinking. It's a self-propelling vicious cycle. And it gets worse, because your dissatisfactions aren't independent of one another, they add up and compound. Each time the future eventually becomes the present, it'll become evident that it isn't as good as you hoped it would be, leaving you a little more disappointed than the time before. Eventually, you'll end up jaded. Instead of seeing the good in the reality that is, you'll only be able to see the bad, even if the bad is simply that it isn't the way you imagined and hoped it would be. All that being said, I know that life isn't always easy and things can get rough. 
During these times of difficulty, it's important to remember that the only constant in life is change, and that the bad you're experiencing now is impermanent. Allowing the knowledge that you will always suffer the same pain in the same way you're suffering it now to keep you moving forward is a sign of resilience. But don't allow it to inflate you with hope, because inflation is unstable. It's a bubble waiting to pop. Instead, remember that just as the bad you're currently experiencing isn't permanent, neither is the good. This means that you should relish it as much as you can while you still can and give whatever bad is currently in your life time to be ushered away or at the very least to mature and change. In my experience and opinion, appreciation and gratitude are much better antidotes to any negativity you may be facing than hope. This isn't to say that you should gaslight yourself by telling yourself that whatever you're going through really isn't that bad or that other people have it a lot worse. Quite the opposite. I'm a big believer that you have to allow yourself to feel to heal because that's precisely what will allow you to let go of everything that's weighing you down and bring you back up into your natural higher states of feeling and seeing things. Positivity shouldn't be contrived. It should be natural and organic. Anything else is spiritual bypassing or at the very least, toxic positivity. Practicing appreciation and gratitude doesn't mean that you reject and hide from the negativity. It means that you acknowledge both sides of the coin. You acknowledge your pain and suffering, but remain grateful for the opportunity to learn and grow stronger. You acknowledge your setbacks, but appreciate the people around you willing to lend you a hand. You acknowledge that your path may have been momentarily blocked, but you recognize that there's always a way forward. Doing this frees you from your past just as much as it frees you from your future, because you'll stop being haunted by notions of regret. Instead, you'll rest easy in the knowledge that you fully acknowledged and appreciated the good you had while you had it, and you'll trust that there will always be more good for you to enjoy in the future. Of course, we all have minds, which makes it impossible to at least sometimes project ourselves into the past or future, so it's necessary to stay grounded and to be as realistic about your future projections as possible. Stop planning for perfection and fooling yourself into thinking that everything will be sunshine and rainbows at some point in the future. Acknowledge that life itself is imperfect and that it'll never be fully to your liking. Always work a buffer into your future projections where you take into account that though the future will likely bring a lot of good, it will also likely bring just as much bad. Ultimately, life will always deal you a mixed hand. It's impossible for everything to always be good. Instead of using hope to hide from this fact, embrace life's nuances and learn to see the beauty in them. Because in the end, this is the only thing that can truly alchemize negativity into positivity. If you like this video, then you'll probably also like the video that I'll link in the end card. It speaks on surrender, a spiritual practice which can make accepting your current situation, whatever that may be, a little bit easier. Before you leave though, comment down below letting me know if you think hope is helpful. I would love for this to be a space where we could all share with each other, so I really look forward to reading what you guys have to say. Also, if you liked this video, then hit that like button, and if you really liked it, then subscribe so you can catch all my videos as soon as I drop them, and so that they can reach more people. As for right now though, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.